Hey, Tony Finazzo with Eastridge Printing. Since our last video, uh, we've had a ton of questions, and uh, the, the most frequently asked question is how to create a PDF file. Today, I'm going to show you a free tool called PDF 995 that will allow you to create a PDF file from virtually any software program that you're using. This tool has come in extremely handy for us. Uh, we use it several times a day and if you don't have a means right now to create PDF files I'm sure once I show you this uh, it'll probably turn into a daily use tool for you too so um, without taking too much of your time I want to get over to the screen here so I can show you how to uh, actually go on and download this but for a quick second I want to tell you what a PDF file is uh, PDF stands for portable document format and it's a universal file format that preserves not only the fonts but also the graphics and the page layout of your original document so at one point I'm sure you've received a file from somebody maybe a word file because it commonly happens and uh, they sent you a one page file and um, by the time you open it the paragraphs reformatted and reflowed and now you got two pages that look nothing like the original file that was sent to you so if that was uh, converted over to a PDF file before it was sent to you, you would see exactly page break, line for line images from uh, the source file that it was created in. So let's get over to the screen and I'm going to show you step by step on how to download this software, install it on your computer, and uh, actually start using it. And real quick uh, before we get there, uh, I've created a, a step by step documentation on how to do this so after you see the video if you're interested just shoot me a quick email and I'll fire you back um, a quick one pager on how to uh, download and install PDF 995 and I'll have my email on uh, on the bottom of the screen at the end of the video so let's get over and uh, start uh, start the download okay now we're at our screen and uh, what I want you to do is open up your internet browser and type in www.pdf995.com and this will take us right to the PDF 995 homepage. We're going to go to downloads and you're going to need to download two installer files in order for this program to work. So the first one is PDF 995 print driver and the second one is the free converter. Now I've already downloaded these to save time so you didn't have to sit through my download. So what, are your, what you're going to do is go to download and it's going to ask you to save the file. You're going to save it and make sure you know where you're saving the file to. I would recommend your desktop uh, so we can easily access it afterwards here. So I'm going to minimize our window here and uh, this is what the files are going to look like once you download them. So let's click on the PDF 995 installer and uh, it's going to launch and it'll take a second here to, to just load everything up. Okay, now that installed. So let's go over to our converter file. Double click that. That'll unzip and install. Now it's going to ask us to accept the terms. And it's going to throw up a quick uh, welcome page here that'll... Um, just give you a brief overview on uh, creating a file and, and anything else you want to know about PDF 995. So you can minimize or click out of this. Okay, now, believe it or not, you're ready to start creating PDF files. Um, I made a quick publisher brochure here, just a basic template, and I'm going to show you how to make a PDF uh, out of publisher and how simple it is. Um, now, this is going to hold true to Microsoft Word or InDesign or any other program you're using it's going to be this simple to make a PDF so from here you're going to go up to your file drop down and go down to print okay under your printer name you're going to find PDF 995 uh, and it will be in your print dialog box because that's what we just downloaded and installed so based on uh, everything else here being correct which would be typical uh, a screen that you would see anytime you go to print to your uh, your office printer you, s you select print and instead of printing it's going to throw up a box here for you to save the file I would save it to your desktop okay and then you're going to want to name it and the file type that we're saving as is a PDF so you're gonna we're gonna save a test file as a PDF 
to our desktop. Hit save. Now this is a free, this is an advertisement that comes up every time you use the free version of PDF 995. Um, just continue using sponsored version and then this other one here, just X out of it. Um, they'll pop up every time, but just keep continuing through it and uh, you'll move on. So our PDF file's opening and, and here's our PDF now. So we've created the PDF and uh, it's a two page file, it's a brochure and it's ready to use. You can print, you can email, and uh, whatever this looks like to you, when the recipient receives it that you email it to, say, uh, they'll see the same exact thing. None of this will reflow or reformat. Um, so that's, uh, that's creating a PDF file using PDF 995. If you have any further questions or would like a detailed printout of today's lesson, please send me an email to the address at the bottom of your screen. I'd love to hear your comments and feedback. If there are any topics that you'd like to see in the upcoming videos, please also let me know. Uh, thanks again for your time today. I hope it was beneficial, and we'll talk to you soon.